everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome to my channel. I have a fall DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I will be showing you how to make this adorable scarecrow hat wreath with a face. I had a lot of fun making it and it came out rather large. I hope you enjoy it. Let me go ahead and show you how to make it. Here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you're going to need is one of the plain pumpkin wood cutouts in the fall section in Dollar Tree. Go ahead and paint that. Um, I went ahead and used apple barrel paint in khaki. This is going to be the face of our scarecrow. So whatever color that you have that's kind of a neutral light brown will work. So go ahead and get a nice coat on that and then set it aside. Next, you'll want to go ahead and get a piece of uh, paper and go ahead and draw on a face for your pumpkin. Now you want to keep your face not too spread out because part of the pumpkin is going to be covered. So you want to make sure you keep them close. Um, I went ahead and drew out my face. Now a trick that I like to use to make sure I get everything proportioned is I fold my paper in half and then I draw half my face. And then I trace it on the back. And then I can see through and trace the other side. That way I get it proportioned on both sides and I only have to worry about getting it to look the way I like for half a face. Okay, so once you get your face drawn out and it fits on the lower half of the pumpkin, go ahead and set that aside. Then you're going to need a piece of foam board or a piece of cardboard. And then you're also going to need one of these witch hat wreath forms that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree. Now this is going to make a rather large wreath. The only thing that I don't like about this form is that the point is very straight. So I want to change that. I also want to stuff the top part of my hat a little bit so it makes it a little bit more dimensional rather than keeping it flat. So this foam board is going to help me. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it down to where the top rim of the hat is at the base of the board. And then I'm going to use a pencil and go ahead and trace that out where the tip is. Set this aside. Now what I can do is where the tip is, I want to take that and I want it to kind of come over and bend to the side. So I'm going to just draw that out. So I have where the actual tip is and then I've drawn out where I want it to be. Just play with that until you are happy with it. And then you're going to want to go ahead and cut that out of the foam board. I find that the best way to cut this out is to place it on a safe cutting material. I have a cutting mat underneath and use a good utility knife and a ruler. I just lay the ruler down on my line to help guide my utility knife and then just trace it out. Utility knife will give it a nice clean cut. Once you have your poster board or your cardboard cut out, you're going to want to go ahead and glue that on. Now when you glue it on, you want to leave a little bit of room, a vacant space right here. 
you're going to need to attach some of the deco mesh right across this bottom bar here. So you want to make sure to leave about a half inch space. And then you're going to want to go ahead and glue the frame down. Just get it in the right position. And then lay in some hot glue. I'm going to hit some uh, little corners first on these crossbars. And then I'll go down and lay more. All this will be covered up. This way I can stuff it but the back will stay nice and flat so it will hang real well when you put it up on your door. Okay, so go ahead and get the frame glued down and let that glue completely set. Okay, so I have my foam board glued down to the back. Now this top section and my little point here I'm going to be wrapping in this roll of burlap. I picked this up from Walmart. I believe it was about $5.47. And then I wanted to stuff it to make it a little bit more shaped like a hat. And so I'm going to be stuffing it just with some plastic bags. So to start this, I'm going to just glue it on to the back here and then start wrapping. Just lay down some glue. And put your burlap down. You'll want to use something safe because the glue will come through that burlap. I really like this tool. It's made by Betty Crocker. You can get it at the Dollar Tree over in the kitchen section. And if glue, hot glue gets on it, just let it cool, and it wipes right off. So this is a really nice tool to use with the hot glue. You can easily hold things down, and if the hot glue gets on it, it's very easy to remove. So just make sure that this end is nice and secure. And then you're just simply going to go ahead and wrap the top of the hat. Now you're going to have to go over a couple times and overlap because it is kind of see-through. And then just as I go ahead and wrap, I'm going to go ahead and stuff it at the same time. You don't have to put a lot in there. I just don't want it to look flat. And you're also going to want to glue it down right across the bottom here in the front so that your stuffing doesn't fall out.
Okay, so just go ahead and continue to wrap up. You want to overlap a little bit as you work your way up and stuff in as much stuffing as you want. You don't have to stuff it if you don't want to, but I think that's going to look better than it being very flat. Okay, so I'm going to get that done and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have the top part wrapped. Now I did have some excess fabric, so what I did was I pulled it to the back and folded it since my space was getting smaller. And then I went in with some hot glue and tacked it down. So you see the folds in the back. But the front looks nice and cute. So I'm really happy with that. Next, you're going to need some jute cord. I've gone ahead and tied it right down here. Now I'm going to take this and I'm also going to go through and wrap this around just to add a little bit more decoration through the top part here, wherever I want. I'm going to kind of go up and down. And just to add a little bit more design and to help secure this down a little bit more. I'm not going to pull real tight, just enough to keep it snug. Okay, so I have my jute cord wrapped around my hat. I started down here in the corner, wrapped it around all the way up to the tip, wrapped it around, and then came back down and reattached it to where I started. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the bundles that are going to fill in the bottom here. So go ahead and set this aside. To make your little bundles, you're going to need one roll of this sage color deco mesh that you can get at the Dollar Tree. One roll of this yellow. One roll of the dark brown. And one roll of orange. All of this you can get from the Dollar Tree. Then you're also going to need one roll of this uh, deco mesh. And I picked this one up from Joann's when it was on sale. This is normally $6.99, and this is just the jute colored deco mesh. You can get this at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, any of those stores. This is the six inch mesh. If it's not on sale, make sure that you use a coupon, okay? And then you want to go ahead and cut all of your deco mesh into eight inch strips. Okay, and then to make your bundles, you're going to need some pipe cleaners that are cut in half. You want to go ahead and take your deco mesh and roll it up. Hold it in your finger. Each little bundle will have three pieces. You don't want to roll them up too tight. I usually go about the size of a fat cigar. Okay, once you have all three in your hand, go ahead and take your pipe cleaner and wrap it around the middle. I usually fold it back so I can get a good grip. And then twist your little bundle. That's what it looks like. So you'll need to do several that are just the jute colored. And then you'll want to do um, about three or four with each color. So do two rolls of the color and one of jute in each color that you've chosen. Okay, so I have several of my bundles made. So I'm going to start attaching them to the wreath. Now you just want to go ahead and attach them all the way around the bottom part of the frame. So you'll only be attaching it to a single bar at a time. So just tighten them down and fill them in until you get it as full as you want. Okay. So just start on one corner, take your pipe cleaners, feed them around the bar, pull it to the back, and twist to secure. And then push them down as far as you can. Once you get them in there, you can always go back and trim off any excess 
pipe cleaners. So you just want to go ahead and mix the colors. So do one that has color, one that's plain, another one that has color, another one that's plain. And just keep going until you fill up the whole base. Okay, my pumpkin's all dry, so now I'm going to transfer my face onto my pumpkin. Once you have it all drawn out, go ahead and turn it over and then just use a graphite pencil. And go ahead and color over the areas that you're going to trace. This will help you transfer the image. Then you go ahead and take it and lay it on your pumpkin. Get it in the position that you want. Folding it in half will also help you with that to make sure that you get it positioned properly. And then just go through and trace everything. Once you have it all traced, you'll have an image on your pumpkin. Then what I did was I went ahead and took a Sharpie and I outlined everything. I went in with an orange Sharpie and did the nose and then a finer Sharpie in black to do the stitching around the nose. And then I used this Crafter Square paint pen in white to fill in the eyes. I did go back after I did uh, the eyes and it completely dried and cleaned up the lines with the Sharpie again. And then for the cheeks, I used apple barrel paint in pink parfait and I watered this down and I did uh, about three really light coats and just kind of brushed it around until I got enough color on there that I was happy. Okay, and that's going to be my little face for my scarecrow. I have all my deco mesh done. It did take me two rolls of the jute colored deco mesh to complete this. It took more um, deco mesh than I originally had thought, but I'm very happy with how it turned out. Uh, I did go in and add four more of just uh, the green deco mesh. I wanted a little bit more green, so that's how I adjusted it. I just did uh, two rolls per bundle, and then I added throughout to add a little bit more green. Then for the tip here, I went ahead and put one green, one orange, and one brown on a uh, full-size pipe cleaner. I'm going to use that to attach it here at the end. But I also want to attach some of this. Now this is leftover uh, hula skirt from a previous project. Uh, you can use hula skirt or you can use uh, natural looking raffia. But I wanted to add some of this so it looks like hay. Okay, to put this in, I've just cut some long strips. I'll probably just take uh, four or five strips at a time. And then I'm going to attach it in the middle, depending on how long your strips are, with a pipe cleaner. And then feed it into my uh, wreath here in different areas where I want it. And then I can always trim these however short I need once I get them in. And then all you need to do is once you get your pipe cleaner attached, you just feed it down through the deco mesh to one of the bars and attach it to the bar. <clears throat> so I'm going to add a little bit to the tip. And then I'm going to add some throughout the deco mesh. And then I'm going to do some longer ones hanging down from the bottom 
but I'm going to wait to attach those until I get the face on. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some of my hula skirt, and I'm going to get my tip on, and then I'll be back. Okay, I got my hula skirt in there. I love it. I'm really happy with that. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the pumpkin head. Now where the jute cord was to hang it, go ahead and put a pipe cleaner through and you want to feed it facing forward. And that one we're going to attach right here where this middle crossbar is at the top. Okay, so you want to take this and place it down where it's going to rest there. And then on one side, you want to take your pencil and mark where the bottom crossbar is once that's attached. Okay, and make a little mark and then one on the other side. And then we're going to glue two pipe cleaners here to help us attach it. I just add a dollop of hot glue. And you can cut your pipe cleaners in half. Just lay them down in the hot glue. I like to add a little bit more on the top. Now you want this to completely set before you attach it to your wreath. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to attach it. Okay, I have my face on. I'm really happy with that. And I did put some long raffia on either side so he looks like he's got some hair. Now, um, I did go ahead and add a flower here to the tip and a little pine cone and acorn. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some decorations right here. So I'm going to use this pick that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. And then I have some pomegranates, I have another flower, and some more acorns. So I'm going to be adding those and I'm just going to hot glue these down. Okay. Okay, I'm all done. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think he is absolutely adorable. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's craft. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really does help out my channel. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. I hope you and your family are all staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day, and I will catch you next time.